Uh, so, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome once again uh, to the top uh, knowledge series 2023. We are coming after a gap of uh, a gap of I think uh, one year. So we are we are uh, you know happy to be back with with uh, with our sessions and hopefully we will be able to share with you more and more. So today we are going to be sharing, uh, uh, we are going to be talking about Chitwan National Park, which is in Nepal and which is a world heritage property. Uh, and this, uh, the Chitwan National Park has a history of over three decades in the park management and a rich experience in resolving conflicts between park and the people. And it is a it is a rich natural area in Terai, the subtropical southern part of Nepal. And there are a total of 68 species of mammals, 544 species of birds, 56 species of herpetofauna, and 126 species of fish have been recorded in this park. And park has especially uh, been renowned for its protection of one horn rhinosaurus royal bengal tiger and gharial uh, crocodile and today we have with us prakash chand who's a general manager along with his naturalist uh, from bari jungle lodge uh, share with us why they are so passionate about this park so over to you uh, prakash and and suresh hmm. thank thank uh, madam ritu thanks for giving us chance uh, subhash and me were excited to you know share some of uh, knowledge Especially me, I'm learner and Subhash knows, he is knowledgeable. <laughs> knowledgeable. So uh, just it will be very interesting to share something we uh, learned uh, in this area. So uh, my name is Prakash, uh, uh, working with this lodge, Barahi Jungle Lodge, since two years. So working and enjoying what I, I want to add. Before that two years, uh, I don't know, more than 20 years, how I spent with city hotels, intercontinental, Hilton, uh, the park, uh, and many more. Uh, that used to be one monotonous life, reporting at 8 o'clock, going home at 10 o'clock or uh, something to sleep. Then again, that 20 years, how I spent. But really, I would like to share with you enjoyment if there is in these jungle lodges, which, of course, are in other parts as well, especially Barai jungle lodges, beautiful here. So uh, enjoyment, if I say, I enjoy every nick and corner of this lodge, every activity, which is... Uh, done, which is arranged by Shubhash, but uh, my colleague Shubhash, that enjoyment, which uh, is enjoyment for me, that is uh, prime responsibility for my uh, uh, poor person, Shubhash. So just he, he, he would like to introduce himself. So uh, just see Shubhash uh, has got very nice experience of introducing yourself. Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Subhash. Uh, I'm from a village called Megoli, which is just on the edge of Chitwan National Park. So I'm a person, you know, who is born and brought up in Chitwan National Park. So, you know, um, since a young age, so I used to see, uh, you know, the beauty of Chitwan National Park. I used to encounter with the animals, you know, uh, on my uh, daily basis. So that's how I got interested to, you know. Become... Gosh, if you could be a little closer to the mic, please. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes, better. Yeah, you know, a jungle is always, uh, uh, it, it's always beautiful. So, you know, and being uh, born and brought up in uh, the periphery of Chitwan National Park, it's always a responsibility for me to, you know, uh, be a part of uh, and being a stakeholder to conserve the and preserve the nature of Chitwan National Park. So, uh, if I talk about my uh, career, I started my career from Tiger Tufts um, in 2006. So, um, and after that, I spent a few, a few of my precious time in Indian jungle as well in central India. And since 2014, I'm working uh, uh, in Barai jungle lodge and yes, having a great time enjoying my uh, time with you. Thanks, Subhash. Yeah. This is just uh, before uh, going to particularly Chitwan area. Just I would like to uh, you know uh, uh, share some facts about Nepal. Everyone would be knowing about that. That uh, Nepal in itself, if even map, if you see, it's very beautiful and very interesting rectangle shape. If you uh, say length of this uh, Nepal country, it's near about 900 kilometer, and width is 200 kilometer. Now, just say yesterday's wash, uh, that temperature of Chitwan was 44 degrees centigrade. 
and if you travel 180 kilometer you reach to snowed hills so such a beautiful country where you will see such a diverse place you know in 180 kilometer the weather changes like this so if weather is changing then flora and fauna as well and entire you know uh, that local people the language it, it, it's beautiful country entirely this is very nice place who would have heard about mustang you know before coming to if someone is coming from outside to nepal they talk either about uh, uh, that uh, pilgrim is uh, i know pashupati they want to visit or they would like to go for trekking uh, i don't know people they talk about mustang or chitwan which is such a beautiful place every morning if you see towards this national park you see new canvas in front of you so this is this is a you know god gifted place really so coming back to chitwan this is central of southern of this nepal uh, located uh, centrally and its population is near about 8 lakh and uh, this area chitwan district has got uh, approximately uh, 70% of uh, area is covered by jungle which is called chitwan national park next Uh, uh, possible to get uh, access to next slide, ma'am? It's not getting pressed from here. So it is. Uh, it is to your control. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that uh, jungle. Uh, if we talk about Chitwan National Park, then seventy percent of this area is covered by sal forest. 20% has got grassland and 10% is riverine forest now there are uh, as ma'am you have shared with uh, everyone 50 more than 50 mammals these are found uh, more than 525 birds these are there more than 55 amphibians and reptiles these are found such a diverse place in terms of animals flora and fauna it has got so just interestingly if we say more than 700 rhinos these are found then there is a you know very interesting story behind that before uh, 10 years back almost this park had uh, near about 400 rhinos since that army has taken care of uh, security that now poaching is almost zero and that uh, numbers these are getting increased day by day so more than 700 rhino were Uh, every guest goes we give guarantee you will see that rhinos more than 10 more than 15 even our friend uh, uh, rana he will shows from his loss five six rhinos so from tiger land uh, five six yeah tiger top uh, five six rhinos these are seen from there as well so this entire belt is beautiful <clears throat> and a uh, number of tigers which were 10 years back approximately 40 49 now these are more than 129 these have these so uh, that security when it, it it's uh, given to army that increase numbers these are sung in bbc channel as well and one of that story which was in uh, vion channel just i remember uh, rufus neck hornbill 1850 one of that photographer he found and last year one of australian photographer he found again so condition of jungle is becoming better and better in nepal you know exceptionally because of global warming uh, tree cutting that is causing all across the world but in nepal it's improving and nepal is saving world but i will say it's leading towards uh, uh, in uh, nature conservation so there are other animals like wild elephant four horn rhino um pangolin yeah sorry uh, four horn ant antelope and pangolin that golden monitor lizard um python bengal florican these all these n numbers more than 50 uh, these uh, uh, mammals these are found in this park so few of you know these about uh, more these animals if subhas speaks that justifies more so just over to subhas please yeah so we are talking about the species of uh, chitwan national park the mammal species so uh, the official recorded species is about 68 uh, mammals including a lucid tiger so we are talking about uh, the species of mammals found in chitwan national park so uh, in chitwan uh, you will uh, find four different types of deer uh, one of the one of the large oh, you will need to be a little louder because uh, you're not so much clear 
Okay, so a little louder, please. Yeah. Yeah, we are talking about these mammal species in Chitwan National Park. So out of 68 mammal species found in Chitwan National Park, uh, in Chitwan you will find four different types of deer, uh, including uh, the largest deer of Indian subcontinent, which is called the Sambar. Uh, the second largest one is called spotted deer, which is one of the most uh, beautiful deer uh, found in the world. And the another one is hawk deer. Uh, the smallest one is called barking deer. So these are the four types of deer which you uh, found in Chitwan National Park. And the other animals, uh, like you will find two different types of monkeys. They are like uh, Sarai gray langur and the racist macaque, plus sloth bear as well as uh, wild boar also. If I talk about Chitwan National Park, Chit Chitwan National Park is uh, more known for the rhinoceros, you know. The official figure is uh, about <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 694 exactly. years, uh, which is the second largest concentration of uh, this kind of rhino after Kaziranga in India. Apart from rhino, uh, we have very good number of gaur as well. And especially, uh, although we have good number of gaur in Chitwan National Park, uh, we do not have that uh, proper record, but it is said uh, around estimated 250 to 300 individuals. So basically, uh, at this time of the year, uh, the grassland uh, is already burned down. So because of that, you know, new suits has already come out. So otherwise, normally they prefer to be in the foothills of, uh, you know, uh, the Chitwan National Park, which is more towards the southern belt of uh, southern border of uh, Chitwan National Park. So this time of the year, they descend down in search of food and water. And uh, yes, of course, we have uh, uh, a good number of leopard also. Uh, the official figure is not accurate, but uh, we said it's around 60 to 70 individual. And apart from that, uh, the Elusive Bengal Tiger, the recent official uh, data, it says around 128 uh, adult. Uh, but again, yes, uh, the beauty of Chitwan National Park is the animals here, which you found in uh, Chitwan National Park, they're still wild. Wild means uh, they are not so used to with people or you know, whenever they feel something unusual happens. So you have to be very, very lucky. So, and there's, uh, there's a saying as well, you know, the tiger will see you hundred times once you will see them. So you have to be very, very lucky to uh, expert, uh, you know, Elisha Bengal tiger in Chitwan National Park. And jungle, it's always, you know, full of surprise every day is a different day. So you can't say anything. It's totally depend on, you know, um, you have to be in the right place or, you know, in right time to, yes. But ma'am, here I would like to mention with Subhash that frequency that is increasing means, I mean, uh, uh, tiger sighting, it's happening a lot. You know, these days, uh, more and more people, they are talking true, about tiger true, sighting. True. And, and talking about the reptiles, you know, uh, uh, in Chitwan National Park, you will find around 30 different species of uh, snakes. Uh, but, you know, um, when we talk about the snakes, we have always, you know, that kind of phobia. Yeah, but if I talk about the snakes, the snakes, they also make distance with humans. And you know, very few snakes, they are venomous, like I will say. Yeah, we have, yes, uh, although around 30 different species of snakes found in Chitwan National Park, very few, I will say around six or seven uh, species are venomous, rest are non-venomous. And the venomous, including, you know, the longest venomous snake in the world, uh, the king cobra, as well as uh, the largest venomous, non-venomous snakes, I will say the Burmese python found in Chitwan National Park. And other reptiles are called uh, the mugger crocodile, which you found, uh, uh, because if I talk about Chitwan National Park, we have got three main river system. Uh, that is like Naraini, Rapti, and Rio uh, river system. So this river system has got two different types of crocodile. One is called mugger, uh, which, you know, has got very uh, broad mouth and uh, uh, they can survive anywhere, the marshy or the fresh water. But there's another one called critically endangered species of crocodile which is called as a ghadiyal. And this kind of ghadiyal you only found in uh, the, you know, tributaries of River Ganges in India and Nepal. And uh, we have uh, a breeding center in the park headquarters. So what they do is like they collect, uh, they do have like breeding pair in uh, uh, the ghadiyal breeding center as well. But what they do in natural habitat as well, they collect eggs from uh, the natural habitat. They, they take them to the breeding center and they has them there. And they, when they uh, reach like certain uh, A's or certain lengths, again, they release them in wild. That's how they try to, uh, you know, uh, reestablish the number in wild because their number are decreasing day by day because of uh, the disturbance in uh, the river system, you know, the pollution, the overfishing. So that's how we are trying to, I mean, the park official, they are trying to manage the number in wild. 
And apart from um, mammals, we have got very, uh, I mean, Chitwani is known for bird paradise as well. I mean, if I talk about uh, the birds, uh, we have around uh, more than 550 different species of uh, birds recorded in Chitwani National Park, including the residential, uh, few summer and winter migratory. Uh, so it is a kind of uh, bird watchers paradise as well. So experience here, just I would like to share with you ma'am that even uh, regarding birds as well, we have got such a nice plantation done across and every lodge does that. Uh, so we have got few of fruit uh, giving uh, trees for birds. So in our periphery of uh, 12 acres, it has got more than 85 birds, particularly number 85. Why I'm saying because we had naturalists that competition where they clicked 85 birds. So we say 85 for sure, we have got evidence of having 85 birds. It includes beautiful that roofer's neck, hornbill one day, we saw gray hornbill as well, rare those owlets, these are also found. So it's it's beautiful uh, uh, experience within uh, every lodge. And if you go to that uh, park again, more than 525, these birds species, these are found. Now entering that, uh, you know, if someone is staying in jungle lodges, for sure you go for safaris, various kind of safaris. Here, entering in jungle is very nice experience. Say, if you talk about uh, kind of trees, we have got palash, one tree. If, if it gives flower, it looks like there is a fire in a jungle. Its name is uh, fire in a jungle as well, isn't it? Flame of jungle. Flame of jungle. Flame of jungle. Absolutely, that is right. But so, her rubber rose in the forest. Very, yeah, absolutely. So, a uh, few of other, other than that, we have got uh, that medicinal plants as well. Her rubber rose, that uh, gooseberry, amla, sal, arjuna, or parijat, uh, raj briksha, or bakaino. These all, you know, various kind of these trees, these are found there. And same has been replicated to various these lodges. And very sensibly, in all lodges which are in Bank of Rapti, they are doing plantation in their lodges. They put only those local trees which go, grow number one very fast, and these are good to attract those birds also. So it's it's all these high-end lodges which are in Bank of Rapti doing remarkable job. And that experience of entering there in jungle is beautiful. Even someone doesn't have that tiger sighting, which of course maximum people they look for that, but that experience is unique uh, inside. So uh, bird watching again is one of recommended activity where we have got very nice, various kind of those hornbill even, you know, only one hornbill, greater hornbill is beautiful to see. So these greater hornbill for sure we find when we enter to Chitwan National Park. This uh, boating safari means morning if you go for that boat safari, evening sundowning experiences, these are wow. Sometimes we get those comments. We are equally good like those uh, uh, South African jungle safari lodges. We do the same kind of setups here. All lodges, they are doing those sundowning experience where Narayani and Rapti, River, Pontleaf, uh, um, we do some seating arrangement there. Glass of Chardonnay with some chicken tikka is delicious. Those mm -hmm. guests have been giving very positive comments about uh, those arrangements, but uh, various lodges they do for sundowning uh, there in Gulaghat. So there's experiences, jungle experiences are uh, remarkable. We did uh, recently uh, one uh, with help from all lodges, we did, did one event of uh, entrepreneurial Nepal where experts, one and more than 150 people, they had come. So it was beautiful event executed uh, in jungle. Yes, uh, we do have beautiful, uh, uh, thank God, tiger land picture is there because Tana is there now. It, it will not be injustice to tiger land. Tiger. Yeah. Tiger top. Tiger top, yes. Uh, uh, tiger top. Right, right, right. I'm sorry, tiger top is missing there. Yes, we do have, uh, uh, you know, very high-end lodges here mentioning uh, Taj Magoli Sarai, uh, Jagatpur Laws, Tiger Land, Tiger Top, Haru Laws. We have got upcoming uh, um, uh, IAG laws as well within one year that will be ready. So there are beautiful lodges which are coming up. And uh, if we see, just I was trying to collect some data, how many people are getting employment in organized sector. I got that information from you know registered uh, that sources or tourism department. Eight thousand people they have got direct employment, and same more than this number will be in un unorganized sectors as well. So more than twenty thousand people they are getting employment through these 
uh, hotels. Total population initially, what I mentioned, more than eight lakh, eight lakh, seven percent. Uh, you know, there are very interesting tribes they have been living in Chitwan. One is Tharu, the highest number, seven percent, almost Tharu they live, and uh, four percent Maji. Uh, we have got uh, Kumal who are near about 4% again, 2% Bote uh, communities. Now, every laws has given chance to show their cultural uh, thing. You know, it, like Barai Jungle laws gives some chance to uh, Tharu communities so, to show their cultural dance. Similarly, we have got Kumal community, which is living uh, nearby. So they showcase their cultural dance here in laws. And similarly, in other lodges also, they have got uh, same communities, which are living by, they are giving chance to show their culture. So in that way, they are promoting their culture. Sometimes, you know, they, it, it becomes source of little income for them as well. Uh, little, uh, just uh, some boring figures again. Uh, before COVID, if we say how many people or how many guests they were visiting to us, we were relying a lot on foreigners, 70% of foreigners and 30% uh, of locals, they were uh, we were getting this kind of ratio, but COVID taught us new market where we got vice versa. Ninety percent local coming during this uh, COVID period where we survived because of locals only. So a big market we have seen during this time, and for every loss, this is very nice learning that locals are very potential. So in month of March, that uh, uh, figure which uh, was more local, ninety percent local and ten percent foreigner only that has uh, uh, gone to 55 local and 45 foreigners where in foreigners if we see nationality australian about uh, five uh, australian were five percent yes american 10 percent english five percent others 10 percent 20 percent indian and 50 percent nepalese uh, some of challenges i would like to share with you yes this uh, if we say off season july to July, August, September. I will, I will, uh, you know, this off season word now in Chitwan, none of laws wants to say we are in off season because although that is rainy season, few people they enjoy rain a lot. So uh, uh, this is different activity what we offer in um, this uh, the rainy season because poor that jungle Chitwan National Park is closed. So we use our community forests, which are equally good. We have got two, three community forests which are nearby. So different kind of activities we do. Sometimes I say this is better activity because you know if boating is closed and that main access to uh, that Chitwan National Park uh, core area that is uh, stopped, then we have got chance to take guests by those uh, high end you know those uh, safari jeeps for sundowning experience through jungle while bringing them we bring them through. Uh, the jungle only, so they have got very nice sighting, sundowning experience. Again, next day they can be taken uh, for any other jungle as well. So more uh, different kind of experience for these three months can be given to people. But yes, because of excessive rain, if it floods, uh, although a river looks beautiful, full of that water, but in same time, our land, it has been encroached, you know, every lodge which has got uh, located in bank of that Rapti river. Uh, gives a lot of land to this river. You know, when I joined two years back, I could have counted 72 stairs towards that riverside. Now we have got 12 stairs only. So acres of land that has gone, for example, our, uh, from our property, similarly other property, they are also losing. So we are looking for some of agencies, some of, uh, you know, government agencies to help us in that regard to uh, do some embankment, although every law has been doing from their side uh, and it needs a lot of that fund, a lot of uh, money that is required for these all things. Some other challenges which local lodges we are facing, the, there are uh, renowned name, as I said, IAG would be coming. I should not be taking name, but we have got renowned those lodges, which has got oh, that good link with high end those travel agents. But it becomes very difficult for property like us, we, which are you know local, uh, which, the, which don't have those international name to reach uh, these high-end TAs because they believe on those international names only. So one of that biggest challenge, but we all of us, we face to how to keep ourselves that we are equally good like those high-end um, lodges in uh, giving experience to guests 
So this is one of challenge. If uh, something could be done through this forum, it will be great. You know, one guest comes here from the good, uh, those high-end companies, they experience, they rate us. Then if they don't like, that is fine. But if this place gives you better experience, why not to get some share market share of those high-end also? This is uh, what we think and uh, how to reach uh, ourselves in international media. That is also one biggest challenge we are having. Our presence in uh, BBC, CNN, uh, it, it becomes very difficult to reach there. So our expectation, we were discussing, Shuas and me, how to uh, keep ourselves in travel page of those renowned medias. So this is what uh, little uh, challenges we have got. Similarly, being sustain sustainable laws, every laws is planning to have e-vehicles. But as I started with COVID just got over, there was situation, international traveler, travelers, they are having limited that travels. So, uh, Collecting fund for these expensive e-vehicles, that is becoming a little challenge for us. So uh, this is uh, one of thing we wanted to keep in this forum. Now at last one of that opportunity I, I would like to take, uh, I'm being selfish, I would like to speak about the rice jungle laws at last. Uh, you know, I will not take more time, but yes, this founded Barai jungle laws started in 2013. Keeping tiger top in mind, we want to be tiger top, that is the laws of Nepal, what I will say, which has given foundation to jungle lodges. So its location is such where we are also planning to wilding. You will see this top photo, this photo, which tells no trees all around. Now, proudly, I will say we have got more than 5,000 trees. So one side, we have got community forest. Other side, we have done wilding more than 5,000 trees. So Yes, Barahi jungle laws is now can be, uh, you know, called similar to Tharu laws, which is surrounded with all jungles and it has got one beautiful Rapti river in middle as well. Thank you for listening to me and thank you uh, 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 for, you know, uh, giving me chance to share all facts about what we know here about Chikwan. Thank you, Prakash. Uh, it was really uh, nice to hear and, you know, about uh, Chituman Lodge. And I'm really impressed to know that there is no poaching happening over there. I mean, that's really fantastic. So we'd like to know how how has Chituman reached that there is no poaching and especially in COVID time, I think poaching kind of increased. But you you saying there's no poaching at all, which is kind of happening, and it is total control which has happened over there. Absolutely, ma'am. Heads off to the, these... Uh... Not only army, army is doing remarkable job. You won't believe means uh, uh, other, uh, not only army here, that government organizations are such, uh, I would like to take name of this forest department where we go uh, every year, more than 1500 free tree and which includes Rakta Chandan. Rakta Chandan means red, red sand, sandalwood, which is very expensive if you buy. Those trees we are getting free. You get Parijat free. You get that those Rudraks trees free. So every organization, government organization, these are working, you know, in very effective manner. These, these are really working very hard and it's it's result of their hard work. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it's fantastic atmosphere or government organizations which are working combinedly for everything. This is remarkable wow. here. In wow. I know. I, I know. It's. Uh, I mean, Chitwan is actually Asia's most most preserved conservation area. So hats off to you all and uh, congratulations on achieving that. So it's really, uh, really fantastic. I would, invite, I would like to invite uh, Saurabh Garg, who is uh, the general manager at the Jungle Camps of India. Uh, they have properties in Kana, Penj, uh, in MP and Tadoba in Maharashtra. They, they are boutique properties and all three are certified by TOF. And uh, Todova, Todova, in fact, has got an outstanding rating and other two are quality. And the management, uh, they've been the man we've been associated with them for a long time. And the management has strong ethics towards responsible and eco-friendly tourism. So I would request uh, Saurabh to share more with us as to what makes them special. Saurabh, over to you. Thanks, Namaste, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Mm. So, first of all, I would like to thank Team Top Tiger for mm -hmm. organizing this meeting for all of us. 
Uh, general camps of India are located basically in a four locations. Uh, a little Tana louder is what we would, and if you could come closer to the mic, is would be better. Hmm. Sure. So, general camps of India are located in a four locations. First, we started from French, then we spread to Kana, expanded to Saroba, Lito, and Rukhar. Uh, we are a conservation focused hospitality group. We are specialized in operating lodges in a remote location. Basically, the brainchild of uh, Mr. Jajin Singh Rathor started with its first lodge in Paints National Park with the name of Paint Jungle Camp. Then we expanded into Kanha 2018. 2021, we uh, started Jungle Camp. We recently have another property in Paychester, which is in a uh, buffer area known as a Khadijindu camp. So if I talk about Kana, it is about 40 of lush forward land, in which we have 16 cottages. Out of 16, we have four elevated, four semi-elevated, eight very ground cottages, and one sprawling family villa in which we have three bedroom hall and the beautiful balcony in it. If we talk about the construction of our room, it is very sustainable. If you can see into the picture, the elevated cottages on left, uh, on left hand, the same elevated. The construction itself has puff sheets, which is sustainable for the key. It doesn't require much of electricity, um, uh, much of uh, air con. The, if, we, if I talk about the landscape, we bought this land in 2005 and then we planted about 15,000 staff. No, it's quite interesting. After 15 years. Hello? Yeah, actually, what happened? Sumit, 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 can you please uh, oh, sorry. Uh, mute yourself? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, about Kana, we, we bought this land in 2005 and after this, after that, we did a plantation of about 15,000 saplings. We started building a lodge in 2018, so we waited for them. The landscape, how beautiful it has come up. Uh, all 40 acres is densely vegetated now with all the native plants, in which we have more than 70 species of birds. We do birding, we do walking inside the, inside the forest, inside the lodge track. We have tracking, we have cycling, we have uh, the vegetation knowledge activity for our guests on day-to-day -day basis. Uh, let's come to the camp, which is almost again 50 acres of natural forest land, which we have 13 elegant luxury tanks, six cottages, six standard rooms, and a family suite. Sadova is a new property, as I just told you, on 2021, we uh, inaugurated Sadova. The property is built on elevation, which is facing towards the Irai Lake, and it has a huge grassland, uh, grassland facing towards the balcony of all the rooms, which uh, invites many wildlife, including pets too. So it's almost approximately 10 acres of land, which has 12 inhabited luxury cottages, six luxury suites, which are newly developed. Rukan Jungle Camp is the recent most property of Jungle Camps of India, which is in Paint itself in Rukhar Buffer Cape. We are almost touching the buffer area and which covers the approx 40 square kilometer of forest. As you can see, the aerial view of which uh, of our Jalmal cottages, it is surrounded by the all water body. Across the water body, there is a forest land from which most of our guests have spotted uh, leopards and tigers right from their room balcony in a recent past. These are some these are some images of recently developed uh, on. This is the best example for the sustainability. We don't have any electrician here of everything on the uh, solar electric panels, solar grid, and for the communications we have kept some wireless devices and is of jungle which we call uh, Rukhar Jungle Camp, in which we have four jungle uh, cottages. Jungle itself stays 
that it is surrounded with a water body tudaldali which is elevated cottage again facing the water body so total six luxury rooms in rural jungle camp so what sets us apart obviously the premium property known for the exceptional uh, hospitality and services our key uh, key tool is to employ as many as locals we can for an example uh, here in kanha where i am sitting right now we have 35 uh, number of staff out of which 33 are from the local are from the vicinity of uh, approx 10 km only one naturalist and one more staff is from outside so we carry almost 90% of local staff or doing a responsible tourism if we talk about our what uh, getting eco friendly practices obviously avoiding the use of plastic and if i talk about uh, using avoiding the using of plastic we don't carry any plastic bottles we don't promote any plastic bottles inside the room even in restaurant for that we have installed aro uh, water facility in every public corner water energy saving conservation the key cards are there in rooms just to make sure there is no unnecessary waste of electricity also promoting the green practices as i said the vegetation is uh, is been done in a vast scale we have some tenets of responsible tourism which we follow in our checklist which is commitment towards the responsible and green tourism construction and design i have already told you and discussed uh, in last time conservation is the great tanha itself in which we have planted more than 15000 saplings and we are still planting count is going on even the outside fence of the property we have planted many which connects and make one corridor for example this is our property and it connects to the other to a different uh, buffer area so we are somewhere in a bottleneck of corridor this is what we have generated for the wildlife even outside the property so there is a easy no easy movement for the wildlife from one buffer area to another buffer area obviously customers are the key factor community development we do a lot of work in the community development if i highlight some green practices as i told you ro filtration system uh, to discourage the use of plastic bottles dual capacity flushing system system in into our wc into our urinal so many construction i have already discussed about this we promote landscape generation the best example i have given you how we develop the landscape of kana itself same relates to the paint and the same thing we are doing in tadoba uh, also uh, if i talk about employment uh, policy that i have already discussed 80% more procurement we have our own vegetable garden if obviously we need more from the outside but we try to procure as much as we can do from the local village for example we have uh, given a contract of paneer milk to the local community we are not buying from the nearby uh, groceries uh, market the fresh milk comes from the local fresh milk comes from the local village many of the green leaf vegetables comes from the local village and uh, to demonstrate the uh, local uh, employment opportunity apart from the job uh, for an example we have we we have contracted one person who is expert in uh, bone art painting he comes very often to the lodge he sits there and does painting the whatever he sells it goes direct to him part of the amount which we comes we use for the welfare funds of the society similar to this we have other activities like we uh, since it is a year of millets so we have started promoting the local produce of millets which is kodo bajra and kutki these are the few local millets which is being grown in tana so these are some promotions we are doing for the es of millets also some practices which we have already discussed no bottled water education program with the children every year in the children day we go to the nearby government school in which we organize a quiz competition for the different uh, different uh, different grade of uh, students and then we distribute some some rewards to them vegetable garden i have already told you about the uh, procuring of uh, veggies from the local villages daily wildlife presentation is all about uh, taking our guests into the track telling them about the vegetation showing them the making a itinerary of it making a checklist of it 
and uh, we have a beautiful uh, butterfly garden too here. So many, many of the things which we do in the day to day basis, which is also a conservation education for our guests and the daily wildlife presentation in every evening in which we discuss about the landscapes of Kanha, uh, flora and fauna of the Kanha, what are the key uh, species like Barasinga is the flagship species of Kanha, what tiger, bitty, many of the species we discuss and we do a conservation education for our guests. Apart from all these activities, obviously we organize deep safari, bird watching, is a fantastic uh, thing in town. We will enter summer night safari, sundown, bush dinner is very famous now. We have five or six exclusive locations for the bush dinner. I would uh, definitely love to share some pictures later how we and what we organize. Guiding nature walk, I have been discussed. Seven village visit, they are basically two major tribes who live in and around Kana National Park. Uh, they are basically Gond and Baiga tribes. So we take our guests into their villages. We show them how ethnically and how beautifully they are conserving the forest by living into the fringes of uh, Kana National Park. They are the one who first shaped the coating. They are the one who first informed the forest department. They are the one who is first saving the nature and helping community, uh, the tourism community to grow well. Walking safari, alfresco, culinary, other experience we do. I would like to finish here and I again thanks Top Tiger team to organize this uh, Zoom conference and I hope you like the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you so much. Um, so if, uh, I mean, it's, it's their beautiful properties and, and you're doing some fantastic uh, work and done fantastic initiatives. So thank you so much uh, for sharing.